All right. Interview questions. The following section will discuss the various algorithms that are applicable to arrays and vectors and will follow by a list of practice problems with similar approaches. Some array. All right, a method, right, a C++ method that will return the sum of all elements of the integer array given array and its size as its arguments. So now we have, we need a method and we need, so this is a vector, right? And the vector has a method that obtain its size. If it's an array, then we need to pass its size as well. For arrays, we need to pass the array name. Pass it as a reference. Pass the array as a reference, which means we are passing a copy of its address. So we are passing this vector now this vector of integers as a reference. This is the vector's name. The vector has a function that obtains its size. If we are passing an, an array, then we need to pass its size as well. All right, and this is how to calculate the sum. This is how to call the function. Sequential search, right? A method which search an array for some given value. So we have the vector or the array and the value, and we search everything sequentially, one by one, sequential search. Binary search, right? Binary search is used to search an assorted array. Each iteration search space is divided into half. In this case, we search We only check the mid value and either go up or go down from there. So we are searching only half the values, which is way more efficient. Okay. And here is the analysis. And rotating an array by K positions for example an array is rotated by two positions these two became on the back just like this so here's the rotate array vector and k and here's rotate array vector and k positions and we are always passing it as a reference and here is reverse array and here is reverse array also passing the array as a reference reverse starting point and ending point. Rotating array is done in two parts. Trick, the, fir the first part we reverse the elements of array, first half, then the second half. Then we reverse the whole array there by completing the whole rotation. Find the largest sum contiguous, contiguous subarray. Given an array of a positive and negative integers, positive and negative integers, find a contiguous subarray whose sum is maximized. So here, max subarray sum we pass a vector and passed by reference this is the vector's name that will be used in the method 
and it's not necessarily the vector's name in the calling function, the main function, for example. And we obtain the size and maximum so far, and maximum ending here, just like that. And we start maximum ending here, maximum ending here is plus this. If this is smaller than zero, the maximum ending is zero. Maximum so far, maximum so far is minimum, then maximum ending, then it equals maximum starts with zero, okay, just like that. And the main menu, we'll just call this function. The function goes through a loop and checks for this. Um, my analysis maximum separates an array that is found in a single scan. We keep track of a global maximum sum so far and min maximum sum, which includes the current element. When we find the global maximum value, is far less than the maximum value containing the current, we update the global maximum value. Finally, we return the global maximum. Concept of stack. A stack is a memory. All right, so let's isolate this and separate piece of video.